Hello students, I am Dr. Nidhi Gupta, faculty from the Center for Population Health and Development, School of Development Studies, Tata Institute of Social Sciences, Mumbai. I welcome you to the module on Monitoring and Evaluation of Health Programs, which falls under the paper Population and Health. The main objective of this module is to orient the students about the concepts of monitoring and evaluation, introduce the elements of inputs, process, outputs and outcomes that provide the context for monitoring and evaluation. The module will also highlight the key differences between the monitoring and evaluation and their role in improving the efficiency and outcomes of health programs. We will also discuss various types of monitoring and evaluation frameworks. Monitoring and evaluation are essential management tools which help to ensure that health activities are implemented as planned and to assess whether the desired results are being achieved. Monitoring helps to provide concurrent feedback on the progress of the activities, identify the problems in their implementation and take corrective actions, while evaluation helps to assess whether the desired results of the program have been achieved, if not, how it should be redesigned. Monitoring and evaluation serves a range of purposes including learning what works, refining and redesigning the program approaches and attributing cause and effect. When implemented effectively, monitoring and evaluation involves reporting downwards to the local communities and upwards to the developmental agencies and funders for the purpose of accountability and credibility. What is a program? It is very important for us to understand what a program is before we talk about monitoring and evaluation of a program. Program is a series of activities supported by a group of resources intended to achieve specific outcomes among particular individuals, groups and communities. The term program also refers to the efforts that are being evaluated. It may apply to any action that seeks to improve the outcomes for whole communities or for more or specific sectors like schools or workplaces or for subgroups, for example, youth, pregnant women, people with HIV and AIDS, etc. Monitoring is also called process evaluation and it is an ongoing program management activity that assesses the implementation of program activities and progress towards meeting target program outcomes. Ideally, it should take place periodically and systematically throughout the program cycle to determine whether work is proceeding as planned. Hence, monitoring is a continuous examination of implementation progress which helps in tracking compliance against the planned activities and generates data and information on performance to enable corrective measures to be taken. Evaluation is designed to assess the overall impact of a program typically against an explicit set of predetermined goals and objectives. It involves the systematic collection and analysis of data to help discover if, how and why a particular intervention or set of interventions worked. It usually takes place less often than monitoring, which is more comprehensive in char character and tries to capture impact at particular moments in time. Now let us look at the few key characteristics of monitoring and evaluation. Monitoring. Monitoring tracks the changes in program performance, both process and performance indicators or the key outcomes over time. Monitoring helps to keep track and maintains oversight on the processes and outputs of program interventions. Monitoring process documents and analyzes progress against the planned program activities. It considers continued relevance of program activities to resolving the health problem. Monitoring reports on program activities that have been implemented and the immediate results that have been achieved. For example, number of iron and folic acid tablets distributed to pregnant women under a maternal health program or the number of cases of institutional deliveries reported to a health facility in the prior three months. 
Let us now look at the key characteristics of evaluation. Evaluation is a systematic approach to attribute changes in specific outcomes to program activities. It is conducted at important program milestones. Evaluation provides in-depth analysis by comparing planned activities or targets with actual achievements. It reviews the processes used in achieving results. It considers results as outcome level and in relation to cost. It also analyzes the overall relevance of program activities for resolving health problems. It reports on how and why results were achieved. Evaluation is a mode of assessment which is conducted at a single point in time either before, during or after or at all these three points in time. Assessment is done to understand the relevance, impact, effectiveness, efficiency and sustainability of a project. By relevance, we understand whether the intervention was appropriate. Impact means whether it made a difference in the lives of people. Effectiveness means whether it achieved what it set out to achieve. Efficiency means whether it did so at the lower, lowest cost. And sustainable means whether it was leading to a lasting change. Sometimes evaluation research contributes to building theories and models for change. It requires a design that can attribute program inputs and outputs to disease outcomes. For example, evaluation of the impact of maternal health program on the number of institutional deliveries. Now let us look at the differences between monitoring and evaluation. We will look at monitoring and evaluation differences based on few parameters like timing, scope, main participants, etc. Based on timing, monitoring is a continuous process where it is conducted throughout the project. However, if you look at evaluation, it is a periodic review which is conducted at significant points in time to assess the progress of the project, usually towards the end of the project or the mid-project and to assess changes in various phases. Based on the scope, monitoring is conducted uh, as a day-to-day -day activity uh, and the outputs and indicators of the progress and change are measured. If you look at evaluation, it assesses the overall delivery of the outputs and progress towards objectives and goals. The main participants in monitoring are project staff and project users. However, in evaluation, the main participants are external evaluators and facilitators, project users, project staff, donors, etc. Based on the process, if we look at monitoring, there are regular meetings, interviews, monthly and quarterly reviews, etc. Whereas, for evaluation, the processes include extraordinary meetings, additional, additional data collection, exercises, etc. If you look at the written outputs of monitoring, we find that the outputs include regular reports and updates to project users, management and donors. Whereas for evaluation, the reports are written reports with recommendations for changes to the project which are presented in workshops to different stakeholders. Monitoring is conducted at various levels. Managers at the top level conduct monitoring to develop health plans based on objectives, goals. They devise strategies and allocate necessary resources for those projects. Managers at the mid-level are more concerned with whether they are getting desired outputs from the inputs that are being utilized. And managers at the operational level are concerned with supervision of the actual operations and their responsibility is to ensure that planned activities are being carried out as per the schedule. If you look at the levels of monitoring and evaluation, uh, they are conducted at various, point, at various points of measurement, at the point of outputs, outcomes and impacts. In order to measure the efforts which are made in the project, out, outputs are indicators to understand the implementation of activities undertaken against the planned activities. Similarly, to assess the effectiveness of the projects, the indicators of outputs along with benefits of the community 
provide information on outcomes of the program. A change in the public health situation is measured by the difference between the original public health problem, for example, high MMR in India when it adopted the Millennium Development Goals and the reduction in MMR by 2015 after adopting the revised Re Reproductive and Child Health Program which had specific interventions to improve the maternal health. Now what is the purpose of monitoring and evaluation? It's basically to improve program implementation as it provides data on program progress and implementation to improve program management and decision making, inform future programming and inform the stakeholders for accountability and advocacy. Now let us see who conducts monitoring and evaluation. Monitoring and evaluation is usually conducted by program implementers, stakeholders and beneficiaries. But they need to have monitoring and evaluation technical skills and all of this process is done through a participatory process. Now let us look at the types of frameworks for undertaking monitor monitoring and evaluation. Frameworks or models provide a basic conceptual structure to explain a complex issue and outline a possible course of action to solve a problem. Health programs use frameworks to clarify program goals and objectives and explain the relationships between activities and goals. We would be discussing three different types of monitoring and evaluation frameworks, conceptual program or program, then result framework or logical framework. Conceptual framework. A conceptual framework is used to help design a sound health program by identifying the theoretical basis for the program's approach. Conceptual frameworks are also known as theoretical or causal frameworks. They inform the health program design by making explicit connections between relevant contextual factors and the purpose of program. They clarify the why and how question of the program operation and design and guide the selection of appropriate indicators. Now how to carry out monitoring and evaluation? If you look at the program framework, it analyzes and systematically lays out the program elements. It identifies the key elements to monitor and evaluate, determine and describe the measures to be used for monitoring and evaluation. There is also a need to develop monitoring and evaluation framework and action plans including the data collection and analysis plan, reporting and dissemination of findings. Now let us take an example of a public health concern and how program framework helps in analyzing it. There is a public health concern and it is understood in the light of the contextual factors that cause the public health problem and these factors are understood both at the population as well as the system level. And then once a public health concern is identified, it is addressed through actions and interventions that will alleviate this public health concern. Let us look at results framework. The purpose of the results framework is to increase the focus, select strategies and allocate resources accordingly. A results framework represents the underlying logic that explains how the development objective of a project is to be achieved. This is achieved by translating the results chain of an intervention into indicators. That means the degree to which the inputs are being transformed into specific activities and outputs and the degree to which a relevant target population is using those outputs as the anticipated outcomes of the project. To operationalize the results framework, we need to define the overall goal, the impact of the program, the strategic objectives of the program, the immediate results that we want to achieve and the strategies to achieve them. Now let us take the example of a family planning project to see how the result framework works. The overall goal of the project of a family planning project is to reduce the fertility. The strategic ob objective is to increase the family planning use and improved family planning and reproductive health practices. The immediate results that are required are increased knowledge 
and improved attitudes towards acceptance of the key family planning measures and the behavior to accept these measures. In order to achieve the immediate results, we need to design a range of strategies and for each of the immediate result expected, we can design a range of uh, strategies which can be like increasing availability of educational material on family planning or designing and implementing supportive services and supervision services, training service providers on family planning counseling etc or strengthening the logistic management or advocating community based distribution of pills and various other family planning measures. Logical frameworks are also known as log frames and are commonly used by projects funded by the United Nations. They help to set clear program objectives and define indicators of success. They also outline the critical assumptions on which a project is based, similar to the results framework. The logical framework approach follows a hierarchical result-oriented planning structure and methodology which focuses all project planning elements on the achievement of one project purpose. The logical frameworks has seven distinct stages or steps and it is called LFA planning methodology. These are broadly categorized according to two processes, the analysis process and the design process. If you look at the analysis process, it includes four steps. Step one is the stakeholder analysis. Step two, problem analysis. Step three, objectives analysis. Step four, strategy analysis. And design or planning process. It has three steps, project plan or the log frame. Step six is activity planning. Step seven is resource scheduling or budgeting. There is an important component of the log frame which is called project planning matrix. It helps in organizing important information to be analyzed and helps to order it to assist in project designing process. It also helps to follow the iterative st style of planning and it also enables the project analysis to be amended for clarity and logic. By the time you have completed the set step 4 that is the strategy analysis, you should be able to design your project interventions. The project planning elements of the LFA or the log frame analysis are recorded and presented according to a matrix format and this format is called project matrix format. The PPM or the project planning matrix consists of four key elements of a project. The objectives of the project, the project activities, means and costs, the assumptions made for the project and the indicators required to the monitoring of the project. There are two components in the PPM. One is called the vertical logic and the second the horizontal logic. In vertical logic, the first column is called intervention logic. This refers to the objectives and activities for the project. Project indicators. Project indicators are the tangible products produced from our activities or project impact indicators. To conclude, monitoring and evaluation enables policy makers, program staff and researchers to help in overcoming the challenges in implementation as well as evaluation of the public health programs in developing countries. Monitoring and evaluation also provides solutions to overcome these challenges and are crucial to the successful design, implementation and tracking of program progress and measuring impact of public health programs. The type of monitoring and evaluation framework to be adopted is based on the specific purposes of monitoring and evaluation as well as stakeholders to whom the monitoring and evaluation report is to be tabled. Thank you.